James Melendez, James the wine guy here to share and celebrate this beautiful wine with you today. Love this packaging. I think it's just so remarkable and uh, you could spot this uh, several miles or kilometers away and understand that this is Paco and Lola, or as I call it, Paco y Lola. Out of Arino, this is a 2011 vintage Rias Baixas and back panel for your review. 12.5% alcohol content and you'll see here it says uh, Denominación de Orixe. Uh, so that's in Galician and here is in Spanish, Denominación de Origen. So the certification label. So in uh, this is a, um, a language that's closer to Portuguese than Spanish, um, but it is in northwestern Spain. Uh, I did speak about uh, other um, producers of Albariño, and this is a beautiful variety. And as I understand, this to be a cooperative uh, of growers who produce this bottling here. Um, and as I taste through so many Albariño, I will tell you this: they're, they're all different. And uh, that should go without saying. I mean, if you taste a uh, Cabernet from producer A through Z, they're all going to be uh, tastes from A to Z. Uh, there's no difference between that and Albariños coming from Espaixos. Um, though Albariños grown around the planet, uh, the primary headquarters, if you will, is in Espaixos and a close relationship to the Atlantic here. Give a taste of this wine, give you some feedback characteristics, as well as a point score. Here we go. Mmm. Beautiful coloration. Now, I did a uh, review on another Albariño and a different coloration altogether. This is a much uh, lighter pale straw coloration than this one here. Uh, fantastic uh, coloration. Does not mean one is better than the other. It just means there's a difference in how they look and taste. And that's what it's all about. Every producer is different. So notes on this wine. Do a, a tasting on this wine. Let it suspend in your mouth for a moment before swallowing uh, to give a true taste of this wine. Get a great feel for this wine. Notes of green fig. Meyer lemon zest, almond, clover, honey, and anise. That gives one a 91, a 9.1 out of a 10.0 scale. Again, think of this as a 91 out of 100 points. For more reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.